Hey guys, this is my crypto tutorial. Hope you guys enjoy. Um, thanks for watching. Goodbye. Okay, so what is crypting? Okay, crypting is encryption. Um, covering up something with a code that protects a file. So, for this purpose of crypting, uh, hacking, um, we're going to encrypt our virus with some junk code that will stop the victim's antivirus from picking it up. So, if we were just to send our virus, this is my virus, to a computer without encryption, their AVG or their antivirus would pick it up and delete the file and they wouldn't be able to open it. So we could infect them. But if we encrypted it and their antivirus couldn't pick it up, they will be able to open the file and it will be able to execute on their system so we can hack them. So we're going to get started by uh, getting the encryption. So we're just going to lay our virus over here, the unencrypted virus. And so what we're going to do is, mind you, these cryptors are are temporary. Grief cryptor is ten temporary, okay? Um, this is not going to, okay, I'll teach you another thing. Um, you may see these terms called uh, FUD, F-U-D, or U-D. FUD stands for fully undetectable, and U-D uh, stands for undetectable. And uh, FUD means you get um, zero detection rate on all antiviruses. Out of all the 45 antiviruses, you get zero detection, which is great. Um, with Grief Cryptor, you can get UD, which is uh, uh, like a, maybe like a 3 out of 45 uh, uh, detection ratio, which is still good. Um, but, uh, mind you, if uh, you're going to have to get a new Cryptor every, say, 3 months or so, because uh, you're the cryptor will start to wear, um, the detection ratio will begin to go up, and that's not good. So, um, you'll probably have to get, uh, this is Grief Cryptor version 4, and, uh, so, uh, if you, if you get, uh, 1 out of 35 detection the first time, in 3 months you'll get, like, 8 out of 35 detection, you're gonna have to get Grief Cryptor version 0.5, see so this is 4. So, uh, before we start with this, we're going to use Smart Assembly. Um, smart Assembly, this does not change. Uh, it stays FUD forever, but you're going to need to use it. it. You can't use Smart Assembly uh, without uh, uh, one of these cryptors to make it FUD or UD. So, uh, we're going to install Smart Assembly. This is an obfuscation. And there's other obfuscator tools like Thamida, but sm our smart assembly is so far the best. What you're going to do when you extract, uh, you're going to get these three files in your folder. You're going to extract all these. You're going to take your smart assembly setup, you're going to run it, and you're going to get self explanatory setup. When it's done, set up. Do not run the program. You're going to take the crack folder, you're going to open it up, and you're going to take the smart assembly out, and you're going to go to your installation location where you installed uh, smart assembly so it'll either be in program files 86 or program files and mine installed in program files um, just go wherever it's installed their company is redgate and you'll see smart assembly 6 here you'll see the default program here and you're going to take the crack and you're going to insert it inside the folder and when you'll see this pop up you're going to move and replace select move and replace and it replaces it and you are done cracking. So you can set that aside and you can set this aside. And we're gonna run the other cryptor first. You use obfuscation after you decrypt with free cryptor. So we are going to open up Grief Cryptor. Gonna run. Should take a few seconds for it to load. Okay, we have Grief 
Cryptor version 4. Looks like a, a Windows 8 almost. <laughs> Okay, um, you're gonna see select file to encrypt. Uh, most cryptors they look like this, uh, not like it, not like you know, you know what I mean. But uh, they look like select file to encrypt, add startup, all that. So, <clears throat> like I said in bla my black shade tutorial, um, do not add startup unless you're gonna encrypt it. So if you added startup on your settings on black shades, you're not gonna want to encrypt it. But if you left it alone, you're going to crypt it, which is better. So it's better to crypt and add startup instead of add settings and startup on black shades. So we're going to select file to encrypt. And in my desktop, I have my virus, which is unpacked. Okay, we have it loaded in there. Um, startup, uh, when the computer starts up, if uh, they, they go offline, um, when they start their computer back up, it'll install in a certain folder in their app data or wherever uh, folder you put it in. And it will start up on that computer and uh, they will go straight to your connections when they turn on the computer. So yes, we're going to want to start up. Uh, you can change the folder name to anything you like, like uh, Windows 123, you can call it that. Um, you can call it the startup name, anything you want. Aha. Uh -huh. um, or you can just use random. Uh, you can also use an icon changer. Icon changer helps. Um, you'll need a .ico, but for this tutorial, I'm not going to use the icon at all. And so far, we are good at all on that. And we have it on startup, and we're going to encrypt file. We're going to save it to our desktop. We're going to call it packed because we encrypted it. It's packed. Okay. We now have packed. .exe. We're going to close out of Grief Crypter. Now we have pack.exe. We are going to go inside Smart Assembly. So, um, pack.exe, um, it probably has maybe like a 5, maybe like an 8 out of 45 detection, 35 detection. So, to make it like a 1 or 2 or even 0, uh, we can do uh, obfuscation with Smart Assembly 6. So, we're going to open up our crap version of Smart Assembly 6. take a while to load okay it's open and you'll see this nice interface here you're gonna see new project and click on new project um, you're gonna browse assembly and you're gonna look for your your virus so browse assembly and we're gonna look for packed.exe which is our virus that is encrypted with grief Crypter. now that it's selected it should redirect us somewhere else. It's not responding. Sometimes it does this. We shouldn't worry. Okay. So now we're gonna set destination. And we're gonna call it packed smart assembly. So it was packed with Grief Crypter and a smart assembly and we saved. Um now if through here you can edit all the server, uh, your virus settings, your uh, obfuscation here. Um, you can uh, choose packed and edit all the things you want here, but I would not recommend that if you're a newbie. Um, and everything else you can just scroll through, you don't really, really need to do anything unless you want to do other things. Uh, MSL disassembler protection, usually this program Usually this program was uh, is used for <coughs> usually this program is used for protecting software from being cracked, and so MSO Dissembler protection keeps uh, from uh, putting your putting your your file into uh, assemblers. But that's it's just a virus. So I'm not going to do that. Um, so uh, we're done scrolling through here, and we're going to click build. Analyzing, preparing, and creating. Okay, we are done. We're gonna exit out of Smart Assembly 6. And now we have packed Smart Assembly so we can delete our other files. 
and grief crypter and smart assembly should not corrupt any any file whether it be uh, whether it be uh, cybergate uh, black shades servers so to test this out we're gonna go to the magic scanner keep in mind um, do not scan your or test your file on virustotal.com meta uh, scan or jody dot, uh, jody, the jody scanner jody scanner because they will distribute the, or any scanner just don't use any scanner at all that distributes uh, your file to, to, uh, to the antivirus companies because it will make your detection ratio go up and we do not want that I don't know how it works, but it just does. Trust me. So we are on Magic Scanner, and we are gonna select our virus that is encrypted with Smart Assembly and our Grief Crypter. And we're gonna go into Scanner. This will take a minute. Scanning process takes a while. I will either get a 2 or 3 uh, protection ratio, which is fairly good, it's a UD protection. Um, this day is, uh, it is fairly hard to get <coughs> free, free, 0 out of 35 detection. Um, I don't think you can at all, you have to buy a cryptor, um, or get the cryptor that was just cracked the day it was cracked. So. Um, gonna have to uh, buy a crypto to get uh, you know, FUD, FUD, fully undetected. Well, while we wait here, <coughs> I'm going to talk about um, also uh, uploading your viruses. Uploading your viruses to Mediafire, like, I mean, your, your, your virus you're going to send other people. Uploading it to Mediafire, <coughs> most popular ones like Dropbox, uh, they distribute your sample to antivirus companies also. So I would not use that either because it makes your detection ratio go up and you, we do not want that. So here we can view our scan result um, on Magix. And ooh, we did good. We have a 1 out of 35 detection ratio. And the best antivirus in the world, obviously, uh, picked it up as a MSIL injector, Trojan. Um, but a 135, you could consider that as FUD, pretty much, because not uh, usually that's the that, that would be a 98% uh, people you could affect, and they wouldn't pick it up. So that is a really good thing to do. Um, I'll have downloads in the link description below. Uh, I'll have the Black Shade tutorial link in the description below. And I will have uh, other tutorials. Go check them out. Um, comment, rate, subscribe. And guys, um, this is actually pretty good. So, uh, thanks for watching. Um, everything will be in the description. Goodbye.